Rising Transformation. You are with Tunisia Ali, and I am here to help you to gain clarity, up-level your mindset, clear and heal energetic blockages so that you can manifest the glory of God that is within. Welcome, welcome back to all of you all returning kindred spirits and soul tribers. And for those who are new to the family, what took you so long? Y'all, we're going to be pulling from a few oracle decks today, and I'm feeling the oracle of the Avalon. So we're going to take two cards from the oracle of the Avalon. I hope that this message is finding you peaceful, prosperous, productive, and living passionately. It is my solar return tomorrow. Yes, it is. No, Saturday. It is my birthday. Y'all know that I am a Virgo child. I have five placements and so I am planning to be having a little bit of fun so for those of you who are Virgos in the house please leave me a comment in the comment section I hope that everyone is doing well and navigating this month of September shortly we will be in Libra season everyone as you know we are in Mercury retrograde in Libra, and so we are talking about perhaps for some of us, some of you, relationships going back, revisiting some things, inventor inventory, in in <laughs> inventorying uh, your life, doing a sort of perhaps inventory or portfolio of from whence you've come. Apply this advice, however it fits. Remember, this is not a personal reading. It is just general, so take what fits. Toss the rest. Let's see what we got here. Take that nice deep breath in. <laughs> Opening yourself up to receive. You all, I'm feeling very relaxed today. I came back from my acupuncture appointment in Albany, Georgia, and I'm feeling good. I am feeling good, very relaxed, super relaxed. All right, let's get this guidance out. What is the message for you today? Anyone who's tuning into this timeless message, what do you need to know? The queen, the queen. Okay, this is your femininity. This is you loving on yourself. This is you being the head in whatever arena it is that you are in charge of and have taken responsibility for. This is also about you being in the energy of fertility, of getting done, getting things done, driving forward. Some of your dreams, your plans. We had two more cards to fall out. We will look at them, y'all. We have the Merlin. Okay, this is alchemy, justice, and balance, y'all. This is also the wisdom in understanding what you need to understand in order to manifest your heart's desires. Shout out to all the beautiful queens. And then we have the hawk. So for those of you who have seen hawks today or have been seeing hawks, Know that what the hawk does is he sees what others are not able to see. The hawk uses its wisdom to transcend situations and also to stalk its prey to get what it wants. It swoops down for the kill and is successful every time. I don't know that the hawk has any predators. I think the hawk may be. I'm not sure. I don't know where the falcon fits in. But I think that the hawk maybe an apex predator up there in the sky, similar to the uh, black jaguar down here on the earth, which is my spirit totem. But look y'all, we have the queen, the Merlin and the hawk. So I'm gonna interpret this for you according to my intuitive guidance before we even dig into the rest of the message, okay? This is telling me that you've been getting signed You've been seeing synchronicities. You've been getting uh, food for thought regarding positive omens, things that portend 
something is to come with regard to you manifesting your life's joy, manifesting something that is something you've been carrying around in your heart for a while, something you've been wanting. Now, keep in mind, when we look at what it is we're manifesting, sometimes we're manifesting a new direction in life. Sometimes we're manifesting love. Sometimes we're manifesting a new job. Sometimes we're manifesting the improvement uh, of a relationship that we may have with someone that we're dealing with. This is saying that you have received signs, I feel, in your life to help you see something from a higher perspective, that you have been receiving some sort of feedback from the universe that is trying to direct you into a certain direction in order to manifest something that has to do with something you feel strongly about, something that you have strong convictions about, something that has to do with your heart, your love, your joy, but also is lining up with your intuition. Because a queen, here, this particular queen says woman, fertility, feminine power, sexuality, friendships. When I see this queen, I feel love energy. I feel the energy of creation. I feel the energy of personal power. I feel the energy of moving towards the things that you feel magnetized to and vice versa. And with the Merlin, we are bringing things into balance as we alchemize uh, and bring into reality our intention. So what I see here for you uh, from a holistic standpoint is your intuition, your feminine energy, the energy uh, of the void has been wanting and yearning for something. You've been incubating something at, an, at a conscious level or even at a subconscious level. You've been incubating something You've been sitting with something, not just in your conscious meditation time, but there's something that has been an undercurrent, but you are also aware of this. It's been an undercurrent for a while, however, and perhaps you have been trying to figure out a way to bring this into your reality or a, a way to see it manifest. Whatever it is, it's something that elicits deep emotion for you, deep longing. It elicits... Um, a creative outlet or an emotional uh, expression, something that gives life to not only you, but also may give life to something or someone or something in your environment. Some things, people, as in more than one. And that time has arrived. Whatever it is you've been trying to work out, whatever it is you've been trying to alchemize, whatever it is you've been trying to get just the right balance or whatever it is you have been uh, focusing on, uh, or have placed your mind on because remember thoughts create things whatever it is the time I feel is arriving for all of the magic to come together all right all of the magic so be willing to see the signs and the coinciding of events in your life that are uh, manifesting in order to bring something into your reality all right, I want to pull one card from this deck. This is our Wisdom of the Divine Feminine. All right, let's see what we have here. This is magical, though. I feel that there's something that's happening. This feels like an as above, so below. Something that you've been energetically feeding, that you've been energetically thinking about, that you've been energetically envisioning is now about to come into manifest form it's about to take off and as such it's going to be so open so so open it's going to be so um critical that you remain open that you uh are able to receive and that you are in a peaceful and relaxed enough of a flow state in order to interpret the signs that will direct you or direct your attention down a certain path in a timely fashion is what I'm feeling. Because you know, hawks have to strike at the exact right moment. Alchemy takes the exact mix of something in order to transmute these base metals into gold or in order to take this raw material, so to speak, or the raw material of energy and manifest something into your reality. But it is something that you've been praying about, that you've been wanting, that you have been desiring, 
and it's coming in. The omens are the synchronicities and the things that are lining up to help you see that you are in the vortex or that you're in the eye of the activity or the eye of the storm, all right? What other messages do we have? For my beautiful butterflies and transformation, just like me. Ten cards, too many. You know, I was telling you all the last time I did a reading with this deck, I love it, but it's, it's kind of difficult to shuffle. That's the only thing. The cards, they slip. You can't get traction in order to, to shuffle them unless you wet it. Let me try that. What are the messages for my beautiful butterflies? Mmm. And I feel like yeah, we have introspection here. Okay, and then we have community. Introspection. I'm going to clarify the community card. This could be the community of self. That's the first thing that I was thinking and feeling as I saw this card. Body, mind, and spirit being in alignment. Um, the heart and the mind coming into union uh, in order that you be in congruence so that something may come about. This is the going within. This is the void energy. This is the place where things happen. This is not only the place where we find our light and we connect with our light. This is the place where our visions take hold. This is the place where we go in to find our answers. This is the place of healing, all right? So clearly this is something that, yeah, like look at this. It's born in here and then it takes off out there. Look at that, never saw that on this card before. But that's what's giving me a sense that this is something that you have wanted. Now, some of you, may have gone to some type of a retreat or you may have gone to some type of workshop where you were doing some meditating or some envisioning or some connecting you see these people down here with their eyes closed there may be something that has to do with community this could be uh in here for someone who needs to know whether or not this is their reading this could be something that is very specific joining hands in order to manifest something it looks like a candlelight vigil or something or other but this manifestation is being born of something that has been sitting for some time that has been wanting to be seen and acknowledged and it really feels like that could even be a group prayer you could have uh, several people trying to manifest the same thing that are aligning their intentions in order to bring about change of some sort but clearly um, this is an energy of being in your power, literally being in your power, okay? Let me get three messages that are a little bit more specific from the tarot, and then we will close out, and I'm at 13 minutes. I'm trying to keep these things under 20, y'all, at least the daily healing inspiration. But yeah, that alchemy, that justice, um, the balance. See, the manifestation of whatever this is, this flipped out, this is the moon. So this is something coming to the light. This is something beginning to be seen. This could be something that's been underneath the surface. It could have, you could have had some doubt, so it could have been causing some sort of confusion in your life, but nevertheless, it's something that you have been yearning for. And whatever this is, some of you may have even given up on it, but it's coming in in order, because the time is right, justice and balance. It's coming in in order to bring equilibrium to a situation, all right? Everything is working in order to have this manifest, regardless of what this is. It could be something you've hoped for in terms of a job. It could be the manifestation of something that you are needing at this point. It could be the manifestation of all of the things that need to line up in order for you to walk away from something or put something behind you or something that you've been praying for. Whatever it is, it's been something that has been marinating for some time. King of Swords at the bottom tried to flip over, but it didn't fall out. That's clarity, it's communication, it's time to strike. Um, <clears throat> we got one card to fall out. Let's get two more. What are the messages? We have that moon that came out again, y'all. And then we have the Hermit card, kind of like this, which is the same as this. Okay? Hmm. So shout out to all of you Virgos out here on the planet, okay, with that hermit card. Someone is seeing something. Something is emerging 
into someone's awareness. Now, at the bottom of this, we have the sun card. This is the card of revelation. And I'm going to tell you, it's a card of revelation, but it's always also the card of winning. We have the devil card, the moon card, and the hermit card. And at the bottom, we have the sun card. This is a realization or the the the, the um, sun beginning to shine on something perhaps that um, has been in the dark or something that you have been in denial of or, or perhaps something that you haven't been able to see even though the signs have been there. Maybe some of you all have been looking for answers about something that is toxic in your life, something that is around you because remember this card talks about spiritual warfare. To me it does. It talks about those things that hold us back that until we wage a full on spiritual acknowledgement and warfare, we can be caught under the uh, oppressive chains of whatever this is. This is a toxic relationship. This is um, gambling. This is any type of addiction. It could be drinking. It could be a negative energy literally around you, something or someone, a place or a set of circumstances that don't mean you well. Some of you all have been having a feeling about something or someone that has not had your interest at heart or something that has not been good for you. And you may have had a sense of something intuitively, but you may not quite have been sure exactly what that is and you've begun to go within and look for information. And that information has come. And let this reading be uh, a confirmation to you if you're not sure if, if this may be you. But whatever this energy is, it is something that has been pulling on you. All right, for very few of you, this could be someone who is trying to manifest something uh, with you or manifest something in your life or in somehow interfere with whatever your intentions may be regarding something and you are now seeing that. You are now sure that what you have been seeing and what you have been feeling about whatever this may be involves a little bit more than what meets the eye. So now you can transcend this situation so that you don't become carnage, okay? There's something to do with alchemy. There's something to do uh, with the ma magician energy, the magical intentional um, uh, energy behind those things that are coming into fruition. With this omen and this message, some message here, someone could be trying to contact you, um, there could be something you're needing to see, but no matter what or how this message hits you, know that you have been enlightened and whatever it is that you could not see before, you are seeing it now and you're able to put attention on it so that you can bring some sort of resolution to it. Because for many of you, this has been something that's been kind of lurking in the dark. You may not have been quite sure about either someone's intentions or a particular place that you have been in or an energy that's been around you. Perhaps you haven't been quite sure and now you are sure about what it is because maybe this has been something that you've been praying about. Maybe this has been something that you've been meditating on. Perhaps this is something that you had given some of your energy over to and you may be needing to be a little bit more vigilant or a little bit more guarded with regard to what it may take in order to disentangle yourself from something that could perhaps be bringing some level of darkness over your life or creating an energy perhaps where you feel as though you may not have had the greatest degree of influence or control over something. Very interesting. I want to pull one more card. Let me get, let me get two more cards here from another one of my oracles here what was that that i just saw okay that was deep connection the stars are aligning balance is being brought in okay this is a perfect time for you to heed whatever the messages are that are coming into your life you have found the answer where you may have been blind before you can certainly see now you most certainly can clarify what this devil energy has to do with clarify what this has to do with because remember the devil energy is being taken in by something uh, that has motives or intentions that perhaps you are not able to see it's a trap of sorts it can also represent a temptation let's say for example 
um, you have an, an issue with drinking and drinking is that energy in your life that turns your life upside down and you've been trying to free yourself from it. This is telling you to be aware, to be guarded, um, to, to put your, um, your denials to the side and be willing to look at something for what it is, whatever that, that energy may be in your life. Oftentimes this can be a toxic relationship, someone that you have a deep, deep, deep connection with. Go within to seek answers. Okay, that's the third time that we've gotten this message, everyone. We have introspection, we have go within to seek answers, and we have the devil, the um, hermit card here, and then we have running from problems. This is something, everyone or whoever is watching this, that you are not able to deny. It is undeniable, running from problems. It is undeniable. It is not something that you are not able to see. It is not something that you can escape. You're going to have to face this head on, whomever this message is for, you're gonna to have to face this head on. And the most important thing I want you to get from this reading today is that you already have the answers. You've already done this. And you already know what this is because this is you suppressing your feelings or being afraid to look at something and see it for what it is or something lurking behind the uh, veil of what is actually transparent. It is not good for you. And for some of you, you may have people in your environment, people around you who know something about this, perhaps with this community card here, people who may be praying for you or people who may be sending you good energy with regard to your ability to separate yourself from a situation. Some of you may need to actually call out to those people that love you to have them channel prayers or to have them ask um, spirit for um, your well-being, whatever this message may be for some of you. But ultimately, I'm telling you, you are being guided, but you're also being watched. You're also being protected and everything you need in order to bring this change into fruition is going to be here with this alchemy card justice and balance because my sense here is that the justice is coming in okay the balance the mizan alamizan is actually here and those are the top messages queen hawk and merlin your greatest heart's desires are being fulfilled Pay attention to the messages that you are getting around you. For those of you who have a dark energy around you or something that is not um, good for your mental health, for your physical health, for your peace of mind, a place that you're going into or people that may be around you, whatever that devil energy is, something within the limitations, uh, whatever it is that you may be believing about a situation or seeing about a situation or filtering your reality through um, that's causing you to feel in a place of limitation, just know that it is time to take the veil off something and to see it for what it is. And whatever it is that's being highlighted or illuminated in your life right now, whatever it is that comes to your mind first when you think of this, this reading and these messages, that's exactly what it is. You have actually seen already what it is you need to see. Shout out to all of my beautiful Virgos. The time is now. I love you guys. And I will see you again for your next Daily Healing Inspiration in a day or two. And I hope that you are in a place where you are evolving. I hope that you're in a place where you are taking advantage of everything that is going on in the astrological charts, in your natal chart, but also in the skies that is guiding you or in the skies hoping you're taking advantage of everything that is guiding you forward that is helping you make the changes in your life that is a support for you as you go through and usher in this new uh eon or this new phase or this new cycle of your journey through the tree of life so now much love if you haven't purchased my book manifesting your masterpiece Make sure you go on Amazon to get it. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, a like, or a share. Bye. If you are not using I Am Melanin Magic Hair Oil, then what are you using? Hey guys, so I started using this oil called I Am Melanin Magic. 
since February of this year and check out the new growth. Like it's insane. Not only did it help with my new growth, but it smells amazing too. See the dramatic improvements Denisha has made after not having hair around her edges for three years. Tanya's hair had been like this for almost 20 years and while getting injections. Her doctor said it was scarred and would never grow back. After four weeks of using I Am Melanin Magic, this is what she looked like. I Am Melanin Magic did this to Danette's hair after a short time. Hi, I'm the creator of the I Am Melanin Magic Hair and Skin Care brand. My vision has always been to develop a line of products that meets the unique needs of melanated people. The I Am Melanin Magic Hair Oil is our premier product. It is the leading high-end supplement for your mane. It reduces breakage, promotes growth, and can be used on all hair types and looks from straightened hair and micro locks to wigs and protective styles. It's antifungal, antibacterial, and anti-funk, so you know you're protected. It softens and conditions your hair, and it's anti-frizz too. This really is all you need. It's rich with antioxidants, loaded with growth promoting ingredients. Look at the growth of my hair. The proof is in the product. Need I say more? Don't delay, purchase yours today. I am Melanin Magic and so are you.